Hi everyone, welcome to my closet. In my last video, I asked you guys whether you want to see my sari collection or the closet tour. And most of you say you do want to see the closet tour. So here I am in my closet. So this closet has always been my comfort zone, my happy place, because whenever I'm here, I'm surrounded with all my clothes, my purses, jewelry, my shoes, everything is right in this room. And of course, when I'm here, it automatically it put me in the good mood. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk you through, I'll share everything how I organize, because recently I reorganized all this. Because before I used to have all my saris, all my clothes, everything I used to hang here. And then I used to switch uh, once the season changed. So now we are in the spring and summer. So all my winter clothes used to go in the back and all the other clothes comes in the front. But then it was just too much clutter. You know, I didn't have any empty space. And uh, I actually like to see some emptiness. I don't like cluttery uh, closet. So what I have done is all my winter clothes as well as all my saris, I ordered a few things from Amazon and I just put it in there. So that way I have few empty space on this side as well as the up there and it just doesn't look cluttery. And now the things that I have is only the things that I'm gonna wear and uh, the things that I'm gonna use. So let me walk you through and I'll show exactly how I have organized. So we do have a walk-in closet and it is in our master bedroom. So this is my side, that's my husband's side and he also has a walk-in closet but it is much smaller than mine. So let's go inside. So in this closet, you will see some of my ethnic wear as well as the other clothes which I wear it when I go outside. But uh, my home clothes, pajamas, as well as the gym clothes, we do have the other closet in the bathroom. So I keep all those clothes over there. So let's go ahead and start from this corner. So here I have my parents as well as my Nana picture. So every morning when I come here to get ready, I get their blessing first before I start my day. And yes, this picture was also in the frame, but it is broken. So I need to get the new one. And uh, this is all my jewelry. So I do have a separate video where I share how I organize and the things that I have. So if you are interested, I will have link down below in the description box because that video is more in the detail about the jewelry. So this organizer, I got it from Amazon and this one has all my earrings as well as necklaces and everything is right there. And all my bracelets are up there. And you know, when you organize it this way, first of all, it is in display like this, so it looks nice. Secondly, chances are you will wear it more frequently. So that's all my jewelry. This Tory Burch, this is my uh, backup sunglass. This one is a watch. And these are my other watches. So my chunky necklaces, I organize it this way. Now get ready for the purse collection. <laughs> so it starts from this end, goes all the way back there. As well as I have few more purses up here and over there too. So if you are interested, let me know. I can have this separate video. But in one of my other video, I also ask you guys whether you like to keep your purses in the dust bag or you like to display them. Most of you say that you do like to keep them in the dust bag. And that's what I have been doing so far. But few of my purses, as you can see, I kept it over there because they are just so pretty to keep them in the dust bag, right? <laughs> and those are the purses, as you can see, they are big and I don't use them that frequently. So that's why I put them all the way up there. And these are the purses that I like to use them more frequently. So that's why they are right here. And some of the bag actually has more than two or three purses as you can see this one is the michael core but this one has a two more purses in here and this box has uh, just uh, some random books this one has some other things in there um 
this Chanel is that uh, wallet on the chain that uh, purse is in this box and up here I display a few of my purses because as soon as you walk inside the closet that is the first thing you see and it just looks nice and I kept them on those Tory Burch boxes because that has my Tory Burch shoes and I kept them in their original box as well as in this bag I do have one of the Tory Burch bag over here I have all my ethnic wear and on this side I have all my western dresses so for the ethnic I kept few of them that are like a heavy like a party wear and few of them that I do want to start wearing them so that's what I have on this side and these are my western dresses summer dresses and everything i kept it on this side down here i do have this steve madden loafer actually i need to take this in the garage so i can start wearing this but in this uh gift bag i do have few of the gift items because when we go to someone's house we don't go empty-handed right so whenever i find something nice i buy it and i keep it in this gift bag so when we go to someone's house i can just get it from here so on this side i do have few of my light jacket because weather over here do get cold in the morning so these are the cotton one this is my long cardigan and these are my spring and the summer clothes these are just some because i do have few more clothes that i need to iron it and once i iron it most probably this side will be filled but the way i have organized it is these are the nice blouses which i don't need to wear it every day so i kept it back here and then my shirts as well as all my t-shirts like everyday kind of one that i kept it on this side the one that i wear it um, not that frequently they are in the middle and the one that uh, very nice uh, blouses and all that i kept it back here and up here i have few of my shorts as well as the skirt is there jeans are here my capris are there as well as the nice pants so down here in this bag i do have few of my scarf and before i used to actually hang them right there uh, but somehow you know in the bag they are more organized that way and these are just uh, like a summery one because all my chunky scarf i already put them away and uh, i'm not big fan of scarf but yes i do have a few of them <laughs> and this is actually my favorite one i like this one so much and that's it in here i have all my ethnic jewelry again i do have a separate video for this so if you want to see exactly what are the things i have you can watch that video and this is how i have done it you know i kept both of the jewelry separately so whenever i want to wear this kind of ethnic uh, jewelry i know exactly where to look and over here i have this ottoman in here i have few of my ethnic dresses which i'm not wearing that frequently so I'll show you this in a second, but this ottoman, I believe I bought it from Rods. And when I bought it, I'm not sure whether it came with this vacuum seal bag or I put it in here. But whenever you want to put many things and doesn't want to take that much space, I think vacuum bag is way to go. So in here, I have at least 10 to 15 of my ethnic dresses. And as you can see, I haven't vacuumed all the air out because I still have room in here. I'm planning to put more things in here. Once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and uh, vacuum the air. Um, so this is one of my ottoman. I, I do have the other ottoman here. So let me show you that one. Here I got this other ottoman here and I put pillow there. So if I want to come here, sit and decide what i want to wear i can do that <laughs> so let me show you how it looks from inside so this one i divided by two so on this side i have few of my saris as well as on this side more ethnic dresses as well as the chenya choli few of my saris and as i mentioned earlier i used to hang them but i like it more this way because i don't wear them that frequently you know so they were taking too much space but i like it this way and on this side, I do have few of my dupettas as well as the ethnic dresses. 
and these are the organizer which i mentioned that i got it from amazon so three comes in a package and i believe they were like 27 28 dollar and i'm gonna link this one also down below in the description box but as you see they are so huge so all my chunky sweaters scarf my uh, fleece all of them i put it in here and i still have so much room and uh, you do have the clear window here so you can see exactly what's in here as well as there is a handle on both sides and in here i kept all my other ethnic wear so let me show you this so here i have this ethnic wear for kids that's mine few of my saris dresses all that things is in here and this is really good quality organizer and I'm going to actually put both of this in the guest closet because that closet is also walking closet. So both of them will go over there. And this is how I organize my other shoes, which I'm not wearing frequently. So this organizer, you can store it underneath the bed. And I store this in my guest bedroom because no one used that bedroom. So I can store all my extra stuff there. Um, so basically... It has a zipper so you can just close this so all dust and all that things doesn't go in there. Uh, but again, I do have a separate video where I share all my shoe collection. So if you want to see that, the link will be down below in the description box. So this is how I organize my closet, which is clutter free and my happy place. So if you want to see anything more in the detail, leave the comments below. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Take care and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.